All right. I'm ready to start a new playlist here on my channel. Um, in whole, this will go with the DIY skateboard. The first part of the project that I need to conquer is going to be the deck. And I'm going for a premium deck. I'm going for something that's going to hold up. At least that's my plans. Um, similar to Evolve. But uh, we're going to take a little bit more time and we're going to pay a little bit more attention to detail when we make our deck so that hopefully there will be zero issues and this deck will last for a long, long time. Um, so what I've had to do is a ton, a ton of research. Um, I've contacted resin manufacturers, carbon fiber manufacturers, done all sorts of reading. I, I ended up on eBay. like my favorite place to buy anything first of all I get an incentive for buying anything I get 2% for my card when I use it uh, and I've been getting like 8 to 10% in uh, eBay bucks or whatever so it's worked out pretty good owning a business and make and funneling all your purchases through like an incentive program dude it's so awesome so anyway um, I landed back to eBay and this guy on eBay was definitely very helpful uh, I'm using a system that is not like most retail commercial systems. If you were to go doing your own research, just say you want to Google and you look up epoxy resins for carbon fiber, you're going to get what the retailer wants to sell you pretty much. Um, most of the time it's going to be a two-in-one system. It's going to be a cheaper system. They're buying it in bulk and they're repackaging it. And I'm not saying that's not what's going on here, but the system I'm using is a little bit more professional. And it does cost more, but they list it on eBay at like a crazy price. Like I couldn't believe that I got it for what I got it for. So we're going to head, we're going to give it a try. Um, I'll introduce it to you Momentum Composites. And uh, basically, this video will be the first video and the whole part of making this deck. What I wanted to do is break it down per component for you, kind of have a video for each one. This way, there's some reference to go back on. Um, if you're interested in just doing the carbon fiber form, this way you don't have to go watching a whole video and all that stuff. If you just want to find out about the resin I used, and some information about it, you can refer back to this video. So this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna definitely break it all down and I'm not gonna hide anything because there's gonna be some tips and tricks um, that would be beneficial to a competitor if they're gonna build these boards. But even if I do end up selling them at some point because I have a board that's gonna be in demand, which I suppose is gonna happen, um, you're gonna know how I did it and how I got to that point and what makes this different than everybody else's. Unless the other person's saying they're using my system, they don't have what I just made, plain and simple. So, all right, here we go. Let me give you a little background information. Okay, so as I already said, this is a three to one system, not a two to one system. Um, Pot time. Typical pot time is around 40, 45 minutes for an epoxy resin. Um, this pot time is about half that. And not only that, I'm going to be using an additive. I don't know if anybody knows what that is. Graphene oxide. So this is going to take that pot time and it's going to further reduce it this is going to add strength this is going to be the strength adder. this doesn't get added powder like this um, when it comes time I'm going to show you guys how it's done uh, it will create warmth it may smoke as well um, the hardness I'm looking for that hardness so, I mean, this is why I chose this system. It's a nano composite system, meaning it's actually made up of small, tiny bits of material 
that's liquidized into a bottle. That's what that means. Most resins stink horrendously. This doesn't. It actually almost smells sweet. The base smells like baby wipes and candy. Baby wipes and candy. The hardener, on the other hand, smells like cat piss. It smells like straight cat piss. If you've ever smelled cat piss, ammonia, that's what the hardener smells like. And the graphene oxide, we're not going to smell that. So, uh, the pot time is about 25 minutes. Five hours to set. It's got a medium viscosity to it. Um, it's used with carbon fiber, Kevlar, aramids, basalt, fiberglass, non-brushing characteristics, low vapor, excellent color, high gloss, excellent resistance to water, uh, water vapor pressure. Uh, it's got UV stabilizers in it. UV will break down your your resins and your composites. Um, a lot of times, a lot of the systems require some sort of UV protection after the fact. This has UV stabilizers already in the hardener, uh, which is going to help with that. Supposedly, it helps tremendously. And it also, the blue hue, I don't know if it, any painters out there, but there's actually a blue tint that's added to bright white. And that's what makes it that bright white because you're it's how the colors reflect and, and it's tricking your eye really is what it is the brightest brightest whites have some sort of blue or purple tint to them it's just how it is and the base is actually has a blue tint to it um, it can be used with all-purpose vacuum bagging systems marine transportation architectural general composites surf and sailboard capabilities any type of hand layup application, gloss coatings, and about any other application where you need strength, toughness, durability. You need that extra oomph that you're just not typically getting. Um, I took all this into consideration. I can't stress that enough. This is what I needed here, and this is why I'm going with this system. It hasn't been tested yet. So I can't really say, well, I stand behind this 100%. I haven't made the board yet. It's the whole point. So maybe there might be a whole other set of videos where I'm trying another system. Like always, I would perfect world. This is going to work out perfect. I'm going to be able to stand behind this product. And we're going to make these uh, carbon fiber Kevlar boards here and not have an issue. But... You know how it goes. Perfect world is not always what goes on. Uh, it rarely ever happens perfectly, right? Momentum Composites is the name of the company. Like I said, they can be found on eBay. Um, they have all sorts of stuff. Fillers, adhesives, um, you name it you name it they got it and actually after I made the purchase uh, they emailed me it was like you know thanks for the purchase blah blah and uh, yeah and then you know I told them like you know like this is what I had to go with you know I'm looking for that toughness I'm really looking for that strength and uh, he was like you know what in your application I'm gonna throw something in it's gonna work it's gonna work good and uh, I think this is what you need take that extra little step this is what the great like I'm gonna consider the whole graphene oxide step like this is a whole extra step in the process I'm gonna consider using this and adding this um, is gonna what make this premium on top of the premium product that I'm using um, I only bought 24 ounce setup so a one to three all mixed together this is going to do 24 ounces. This is two grams of product to every thousand grams. You actually uh, make a liquid solution with the MEK and then you emulsify it 
into the resin and everything starts working its magic. Now, I'm gonna be using, uh, real quick getting away from this resin, I'm gonna be using, it's gonna be a form system. So anytime you're using form systems and I'm using an airbag, vacuum airbag as well, you need a product that you have plenty of work time, maybe a little bit longer setup time. Unfortunately, that's the downfall to doing it with this system. I'm gonna have to set up a little bit differently. I'm gonna have to have everything ready to go. So once I paint my core, lay the graphite, I'm gonna have to bag it right away. Hopefully everything will work out. Hopefully everything will work out. Momentum Composites. Go check them out um, on eBay. Their prices are pretty good. I don't know how long they're gonna stay like this. The reason why I say that is because the reviews on it are, uh, I mean, there's only a couple. I know it's hard to go by just a couple reviews, but they're they're good. They're good. Um, like one says, this, this isn't your everyday uh, resin or composite. Another guy was worried because it's a medium viscosity. He was worried whether or not, uh, you know, he'd be able to wet it out and it would flow. He said he had excellent flow, uh, no problems. I have faith. I have faith in this system, and I'm pretty sure this is the system that I'm going to be using to do my carbon. Pretty sure we'll be on. using this system for all the projects, including uh, the two drone projects that I have planned. Uh, coming up in the spring So uh, This is it. This is the first video. This is the resin um, The epoxy resin system by momentum composites 24 ounces it was like 35 bucks shipped to my door and They threw this in for free graphene oxide. That's gonna be the key that's gonna be the key. Nice glossy finish, they say. They say this stuff comes out beautiful. I am gonna do a couple test pieces I am gonna make and uh, see how it comes out before I actually uh, do the entire skateboard. So this here is the first video in the entire series of the DIY skateboard and this goes with the chapter of building the skateboard deck should be pretty exciting um, it was a hard decision for the core and all but hopefully everything should work out follow along guys if you want to uh, build your own we'll be able to go step by step by step you'll be able to go through all the videos break it down by the uh, materials I use um, and then uh, the actual procedure that I use and the whole nine yards. And if you don't want to go through all that and you just want to uh, uh, have one, I will sell them. But what's very important to me first is everything gets tested. I'm gonna to have to use this. I'm gonna to have to use it a while. Um, what I need to overcome are the issues that I had with my other carbon fiber skateboard. And this is gonna be one of the keys. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for the next step in uh, DIY electric skateboard building using carbon fiber Kevlar epoxy resin systems. Fun, fun, fun. Peace.